Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video and I know that it has been a while since I have posted a video but here I am back with another one. So some time back I posted a video about Algolia and explained how you can use Algolia along with Cloud Firestore to implement full text search functionalities in your mobile or web applications. In that video, I actually used a script to copy the data from Cloud Firestore to an Algolia index because there was no automated way to do that. In order to keep the documents in your Cloud Firestore collection in sync with your Algolia index, you had to write a Cloud Firestore trigger. That trigger can detect whether a new document has been created, updated or deleted and based on that operation, it can do the same operation in your Algolia index. But now our life has been made easier. Algolia has made an extension for Cloud Firestore and now you can use this extension from within your Firebase console. So here I have a simple mobile application called Ionic Note and this application has a few nodes inside of it. So here you can see that I have a few nodes and each node has a node title, an image, a description and some other fields. What we are most interested in is the title and the description field because those are the fields that we want our search to be based on. If you look at the Cloud Firestore structure for these documents, you can see that I have a notes collection and there are a few documents. Each document has all these fields, the title, the owner's ID, the image's URL, a flag field which is a boolean, a description field and the created field which is the timestamp. Out of all these fields, the only fields that we want to make searchable are title and description because these are the only text fields that we have. So first things first, if you want to implement full text search functionality in your applications and you have your data in Cloud Firestore, you can use Algolia. So head over to algolia.com and you can sign up for a free account. A free account will allow you to try out the Algolia functionality and then you can decide if you want to upgrade or not. So here you can see that I have signed up and I am logged into my account. I'll just click on the dashboard button. So here you have to answer a few basic questions and you will be good to go. So now it's prompting me if I am new to Algolia or an experienced user. I'll choose an experienced user but feel free to choose new if you are new to Algolia. I'll choose the region which is India in my case and I'll hit continuous configuration. So now I am brought to the Algolia dashboard and here you can see that I have an Algolia application. Since the application is still unnamed, I'll head over to the application section and from here I can rename my application. So I'll change the name to Ionic Note, hit save and now my application has the name Ionic Note. Right under the name, I have a unique ID which is the app ID for this application. We'll need this ID while configuring the Algolia extension on Cloud Firestore. But for now, let's head back to the dashboard. So here we are back in our dashboard and you can see that Algolia wants me to create an index. So as of now, I do not want to create an index manually, but I'll use the extension and configure it to create that index. So I'll head over to my Firebase console and right at the bottom I have the extensions menu. Click on it, scroll down and select search with Algolia extension. Click on install and then here you have to answer a few questions. First of all the collections path. In my case it's called notes. It's in the root. It's not a sub collection so I do not have to enter anything else. Indexable fields. For now, I want all my fields to be indexed. Since I want all the fields in my documents to be copied over, I'll leave this field blank. Next is the name of the Algolia index, which I also want to be nodes. And then you have to enter an Algolia application ID and the Algolia API key. If you click here, it tells you that you need to create a new API key with the following privileges. You do not need to use the admin API key. 
it's not recommended. So head over to Algolia dashboard, click on API keys and here you can see that you have your application ID. Copy that, come back and paste in the application ID. Now we need to bring in the API key as well. So I'll head over to the all API keys menu, click on new API key and I'll call this API key as Firestore extension. The name of the index is going to be nodes. If you want to use the same API key for multiple indices, you can leave this field blank. So what I'm going to do is just leave this field blank for now. Validity is going to be zero, which basically means unlimited validity. And I'll scroll down and here in access control list, I'll define add object, delete object, list indices, delete index, settings, edit settings, and that's all. Click create. And this generates a new API key for you with the following access. So just copy that API key, come back to Cloud Firestore extension configuration and paste in the API key. Next, you need to select the location for your cloud function. I'll just select US central one. Click install extension. And now within a few minutes, your extension will be installed. Once the extension is installed, any documents that you create, modify or delete will be synced to your Algolia index. If the index doesn't exist, it will be created. However, it is important to understand that all the documents that are already there in your Cloud Firestore collection nodes will not be copied over. But there is a quick script that you can run and all your documents will be copied over. You don't have to do a lot of configuration to run that script. So now you can see that the extension is installed. Let's click on manage. And here you can see that this is all the configuration for this extension. If at any point in future you want to modify this configuration, you can do that. Just click on reconfigure extension and you are good to go. Now let's have a look at syncing the old data. So click on how this extension works, scroll down and here you can see that we have a few environment variables that we need to set up and then we just need to initiate the command npx firestore algolia search. If you do not have npx installed, you need to download and set up node.js and then use the command npm install dash dash global npx to set up npx. Once npx is up and running, just execute this command. So now I'll export all these variables one by one and then I'll execute the script. So I'll copy this thing from here, come back to the terminal and type in export and paste in location equals US central one, press enter and this variable is now exported. I'll do the same thing with other variables as well. For the fields parameter, you can see that I have unspecified parameter. So I'll just leave fields blank. You can also set fields equals blank. Next up, we have Google application credentials, which actually requires you to set up a service account and then get your application default credentials. So if you haven't already, head over to your project settings, click on service accounts, and then from here, you can generate a new private key. This will give you a JSON file that you can save somewhere on your computer. So in the next step, you just need to pass in the path for that file. In my case, it's right here. So I'll just drag and drop it here. So now that all the variables are in place, I can just go ahead and type in npx firestore algolia search. And if everything is set up right, it will prompt you that it wants to copy all the data from your nodes collection on firestore over to your index nodes on algolia. I'll just type in y, which means yes, press enter. And you can see the messages here preparing to send six records to algolia document imported into Algolia. So now all your documents from your notes collection have been imported into Algolia. So if we head over to Algolia now, we should have an index created for us. And there you can see that we have the notes index already created for us. 
we have all our documents here and each document has all the fields which is exactly what we wanted. So as of now if you use any client SDK or the REST API to search within these documents, your search will run based on all of these fields and Algolia gives you a lot of functionality and flexibility so you can choose which fields you want to search within. So for now I'll just go to the configuration section and right here I'll just configure my searchable attributes. So for the first searchable attribute I'll just add title and for the second searchable attribute I'll add description, review and save settings, save settings and now if you go back to your index and if you try to search you can see that I only search within the title and description. If I type something which is present in any fields other than title and description, that document will not be included within your search results. Now let's create a new document in Cloud Firestore and see if that document reflects in our Algolia index. To create these new documents, I'll be using an Ionic application that I've created right here. So I'll just click the plus icon here to add a new note and hit save. So within a few seconds, the Algolia Rocks notes is created which means that a new document is added to Cloud Firestore and it will be immediately synced to our Algolia index. So if I search for rocks, you can see that I get the document Algolia Rocks and it's present in the title itself. If you want to search within the description, you can see that I can search within the description as well. And this is an Ionic application and now very quickly I'll show you how you can use the Algolia JavaScript SDK in an Ionic application to implement search. It's not a lot of code, it's just a few lines of code that you have to add. So whenever I type in the search field, the search function will be executed and what I've done here is that I've installed the Algolia search node module using the command npm install Algolia search dash dash save. So this installs the Algolia search node module. Once you have the node module in place, you just need to import the node module using import Algolia search from Algolia search. Create a client using the Algolia search function by passing in your app ID and your search key. So I'll just bring in my app ID and my search key from Algolia's API key section. So now I have both the keys in place, I'll use this client object and initialize the index nodes, which means that I want to execute all my search queries on the nodes index. Then I'll use this index object, call the search function and pass in the query, which is the text that the user is typing in to search. And this returns a promise that I'll unwrap using the await keyword and extract the hits property. The hits property actually is an array and it contains the results, which I will be displaying to the user. Now let's go back and test this out in our Ionic application. So I'll log in. I'll click the search button and I'm brought to the search page. Let's see if I type in rocks and I get the Algolia rocks note as a search result. If I type in essay, you can see that I get the search result. Now Algolia is intelligent enough to give you a search result even if you make a typing mistake. So for example, if I spelled essay wrong, I will still get the result because Algolia is intelligent enough to find out what you were trying to spell. If you want to turn this off, you can do that. But I think that it is a good functionality to have because while searching, users are likely to make some spelling mistakes. Now let's create a new node and see if that appears in our search results. Hit save. So the document is added. I have the new node available to me. I'll go on search. Just type in Algolia and let's see what I get. So now you can see that I get two search results and the search is blazingly fast. So as soon as you create a new document in your Cloud Firestore collection, it is synced immediately to your Algolia index. And it not only works with creation of documents, if you delete a document, it will be synced as well. So now if I go back to search after deleting the document and search for Algolia, you can see that I get only one document. 
So everything is blazingly fast and the syncing is just perfect. You don't have to worry about if the documents on Algolia will be indexed properly or not. They will be indexed almost immediately. So that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to learn how I created the Ionic Notes application using Ionic 5, let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, hit thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.